The Chiefs just got great news about Isaiah Pacheco's injury. Welcome back, everybody, to the KC Sports Report. I'm your host, Michael Darcy. And today, I'm going to break down the latest in the Isaiah Pacheco injury and when he will return. So, Chiefs Kingdom, we just got a big update about Isaiah Pacheco's injury from Ian Rappaport on Twitter. He said the Chiefs are targeting a late November return for running back Isaiah Pacheco. He is set to return to practice in the next two to three weeks. So, the Chiefs are going to get their number one running back back in the next three weeks, which is a fantastic thing for this offense. Kareem Hunt has done a fantastic job of filling in for Pacheco, but once Pacheco comes back, you are going to have a two-headed monster in Hunt and Pacheco that could terrorize NFL defenses on the ground. And the Chiefs have just been so injury-riddled this year that getting another starter to this offense back, it's huge. And you're only going to have to wait you know, a month at the latest. I think he'll probably be back in that last game in November. But even if he comes back in December, he's going to be back for the playoff push, which is really all that I care about. But give him a couple games to get back to full strength, get him some some reps in this offense, and let him kind of get that injury under control because he's not going to be 100%. You know, they did rush him back. But I do think that he could produce in this offense come playoff time. And ultimately, that's what we need. So Chiefs Kingdom, what do you guys think about this news? Isaiah Pacheco is going to be practicing in the next two to three weeks. And he could return by the end of November. So that is fantastic news. I do think the Chiefs could, you know, be cautious with this though. They don't have to rush him back. Because ultimately, like I said... They want him for the playoffs. They don't care about, you know, Pacheco in December. They care what he could do in January and February. And so why rush him back from a fibula injury that is pretty serious? I mean, he's missed a lot of time, almost two and a half months. So what's the point of rushing him back to get hurt again potentially? So I would have him come back, but I would ease him into it especially when you have Kareem Hunt, who's already playing great football. There's not necessarily a need to rush Pacheco back right now, get him reps, get him ready for the playoffs, and then we roll. So I think the Chiefs are in a fantastic position, and you're going to start to see this offense is getting healthier. They're getting healthier by the week, and Pacheco's going to come back in December, but you also might see Hollywood Brown come back. And that would be adding two starters to this offense that have not played the majority of the season. And so they're automatically going to look better. And oh yeah, DeAndre Hopkins is going to start being this team's number one wide receiver. He's getting ingrained in the offense. He is getting it under his belt. And once that comes you know, to be a, a thing that the Chiefs are relying on on a weekly basis, it's going to get scary. The Chiefs can rely on Isaiah Pacheco and DeAndre Hopkins and Kareem Hunt. And if you add Hollywood Brown back mid-December... This offense goes from being kind of mediocre to being one of the best. And so I'm super excited to see how these injuries uh, you know, pan out for the Chiefs if some of these guys get healthier. But we just got great news about Isaiah Pacheco. He is going to be coming back in late November, and he will be practicing in the next two to three weeks. And for some Chiefs fans, this seems like a surprise, but Pacheco's been walking around without a boot for a while now. Nate Taylor of The Athletic reported that weeks ago and so you had to feel like okay Pacheco's getting close to returning he's walking around without a boot on he's going to be ready to play on this team you know in in late November or early December at the latest but really quickly guys I want to give a shout out to the sponsors of this channel all football season long at Rice Real Estate Group they're more than just a real estate team they're a full service partner in residential, commercial, and investment properties. They specialize in guiding clients through every stage from the buying and selling process to handling complex short sale situations with ease. Their passion lies in the personal one on one care they bring to every client relationship, ensuring each experience is tailored, smooth, and successful. Here it's all about building trust, delivering expertise, and ensuring every client feels valued throughout their journey. For more information, call Marla Rice at 816-819-9333. 
The Hollywood Casino at Kansas Speedway is the place to be. With over 1,500 slot machines, 35 table games, 4 restaurants, and a new ESPN Bet Sportsbook, there are plenty of ways to find your fun. For more chances to win, follow them on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. I don't think the Chiefs fans fully understand how important it is that Pacheco comes back for the playoffs. I understand that you have Kareem Hunt and you're going to have wide receivers like DeAndre Hopkins and potentially Hollywood Brown, but we've seen the past couple postseasons, Isaiah Pacheco's played very well. And in those late game situations where you need to run the ball effectively, he's been the go-to guy. And now you're going to have another weapon to use in the backfield with Kareem Hunt. And I made a video a while back talking about how I I thought Kareem Hunt should start over Pacheco when he comes back. And while I still think that should be the case, you can get creative with how you use them. You can run a lot of two running back sets. You could put both of them in the backfield at the same time and really just confuse the hell out of other defenses because you have two capable running backs that behind this offensive line could do a lot of damage. And so I'm super excited for Pacheco to come back. I think he's only going to add to this offense. And maybe you're able to motion Hunt out as a receiver. Maybe he can come out of the backfield catching balls. And you could have Pacheco in there to be the reliable guy that you hand the ball off to. And get those tough yards. So I'm super excited to see what Pacheco does when he returns to this offense. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think that Isaiah Pacheco will be back at the end of November? They're saying that he's going to practice in two to three weeks. But he might come back early December at the latest. But hopefully he comes back in that final game in November. And the Chiefs offense is going to be primed to make a big time run as we get close to the playoffs. So Chiefs Kingdom, that's all I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe for more Chiefs content. I've been pushing stuff out each and every single day. And so if you guys enjoyed that, I would definitely subscribe to this channel for all of your Chiefs information. You guys can go check me out on social media, Instagram and TikTok, KC underscore sports report and Twitter at KC sports report. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching this video and go Chiefs.